On your marks. Yep. Get set. Go! Well, that was weird. So with only two minutes, let's jump straight into an open project and get going. This is the edit from our latest vlog episode. And some of the audio was recorded on a Canon 70D, a DSLR camera. Now anyone that's used that camera will know that unfortunately the microphone preamp's quite noisy. So on this track here, I'm getting quite a lot of hiss coming from the microphone. Now ordinarily this would spell disaster for the whole project. You would just have a hissy sound all the way through, which is just really cheapening. But what I'm gonna show you is a really quick, dirty way of fixing that in under 30 seconds. Now, first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the problem and then we're gonna see how to fix it. So listen carefully for that hiss. Bargain. All right, firstly, I've gotta call you up on a few things. You called the tripod a lens and uh, you changed the price of it every time you talk about it. So with that track solo, you can really hear the background noise coming from that microphone, that really undesirable hiss. Now this technique you can work both on clips individually, you can place the, the effect on a clip, or as we're gonna do today, you can work on the audio track mixer. Now the only reason I'm working on the track mixer, as you can see, is that there's loads of cuts already done. I've already finished the edit. And in order to put that effect on all these clips would take me longer than two minutes, that's for sure. So if you've not got the audio track mixer open, it's really easy to find, just click window, audio track mixer and it'll open up. Now this microphone's recorded and placed onto channel two here on our mixer. So if I scroll down, I can see it's on channel two. I've already labeled it 70D. At the top of your mixer, it'll look like this ordinarily. And you wanna click at the top left to open show, hide effects and sends panel. Now on this section, you'll have a series of drop down menus available on each track of your audio mixer. So on track two, where that microphone is, I'm gonna to go to the top drop down menu, effect selection, let's click on that. And we're gonna go down to noise reduction and restoration. Click on adaptive noise reduction. And that's gonna place that effect on everything that sits on channel two. So all of those cuts on channel two of our audio there are gonna have that effect placed upon them. Without touching anything, let's listen to what that sounds like. Bargain. All right, firstly, I've gotta call you up on a few things. You called the tripod a lens. And so already that's done a really good job of getting rid of some of that noise, but it's still there slightly. So let's double click on the effect, go into the parameters, and all we're gonna look at is reduce noise by. So remember, we're just trying to work really quickly. We're gonna reduce noise by a higher amount. So let's move that up to 30 decibels and hear what it sounds like. Bargain. All right, firstly, I've gotta call you up on a few things. You called the tripod a lens and uh, you change the price of it every time you talk about it. And there we have it, it's worked. It's not perfect by any means, but it's certainly a lot better than having the noise in there. If I turn solo off there, and so you can hear the background music, any kind of weird artifacts you're getting from that effect are gonna be minimized. So let's listen to it with the full mix. Bargain. All right, firstly, I've gotta call you up on a few things. You called the tripod a lens, and uh... it's fixed. Like I say, it's not perfect, it's definitely not the best way of capturing audio. Ideally, you'd get it entirely clean with no noise at all. But if you're faced with that situation with a noisy microphone and you need to work quickly, then this is a really good hack for getting rid of that noise quickly. <coughs> all right. I don't know if that was two minutes because I'm not wearing my watch today. It felt like you overran. Yeah, it definitely did overrun. Uh, watermelon squad. Sneaked, we had a, sneaked it in. Yeah, it had a new sign up. Yeah. New sign up to Walkman Squad. I'm not impressed. S second video and two sign ups. <sighs> I don't even want to talk about Watermelon Squad. Okay. Andy actually asked for a baseball cap. It's not like there's a shortage. Andy, I'll post you one of AJ's caps. He's He's got like 30 odd. <laughs> and that's just on his desk. <laughs> not on my caps. Yeah, well, I've said it in the video now. You have to post one. Andy, there's one on the way. And, and anyone else that wants to join Watermelon Squad, we guarantee you one of AJ's caps. Well, that means I'm going to have to buy more caps. That's all that's going to happen. Or scrap Watermelon Squad. Nah, there's... I'd rather buy the hats. So that was fun. I um, hope you learned something. It's a quick hack. Yeah. I, I thought it was enjoyable. Again, they got to see me throughout the course of the video. So for those of you that were going, oh, where's Pete in the grab and go reviews? Oh, wait, wait, well, this is the tutorial. Oh, thumbs down coming in. Ah, uh, that's because you're in it again.
thumbs down. Yeah, but I don't mind the thumbs down as long as before the end of the video, thumbs up. Restores the balance. Do you so, want to end it this time? Yeah, uh, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you next time. That was really boring. Oh, you winked. Well, you always wink. Uh, so that's been AJ's quick and dirty hack to fixing hissing audio. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. I winked with the wrong eye. Did you? Yeah. You normally wink with that eye, don't you? I don't know. Wink, Kate. I look like I'm having a fit. You always look like that. That's the end of the video. All right, okay. Bye. Bye.